thanks so much for being here with us tonight. Uh, I can't express how proud we are to be able to gather all of you here in the same room. Um, we're super inspiring speakers coming just after us, so we'll try to be quick. When we created the Pro-Evolution Society, we had two big ideas. One, free beer. Two, inclusivity. So we know uh, inclusivity is a big word and a complex one in this world, but actually for us it's pretty simple. For us it means everyone is welcome without any form of prejudice. If here we are a bunch of different people coming from a lot of different horizons, some people here are working on PC, console, some people are investors, some people are journalists, uh, some people are working on mobile games. And uh, I can guarantee you one thing, we all share the passion for video games, and this is something we really love and we are very, very, very proud of. So tonight, you will be able to, to meet future billion dollars company CEO and founders. You'll be able to uh, meet some game students, indie dev, people from all over France. We have some special guests from Spain, UK, and even uh, Finland. I think it's there. Yeah. Um, there is people who are impacting the life of millions of people in a positive way. There are people from Ubisoft, uh, Gameloft, Voodoo, Don't Nod, Amplitude, Pretty Simple, Madbox, Cyanide, Shiro, Darewise, Blizzard, and Kama, and all the people from OBB somewhere in, the, in there. It's uh, a lot of people with a great culture of sharing and people who want to do more. We didn't want this event to be about uh, state-of-the-art shaders, intricate game systems, or super optimized rendering pipeline. Instead, we wanted to tackle high-level subjects so that we can all get back to work the day after, not just, to make, not just to make better games, but make better companies, better game studios, and better professionals. In France, we have a tendency to glorify our success, our savoir-faire, the infamous French touch, but very little do we take the time to recognize our failures and our missteps. And believe us, we've made quite a few. So for us, this event, we think we should be spearheading the charge of ethical and progressive game development and not just be trying to catch up. And we hope this event is the first step in that direction. During the last uh, 20 years, we've been given so much from people. We are, uh, many of them are actually in this room uh, today. And um, uh, we want to, um, to inspire other people to do exactly like we are doing uh, today. It's sharing and uh, providing information to uh, other people. Even if you are a competitor, we don't believe this is something uh, productive. We believe we are strong together. And um, uh, because in the end, we believe the uh, frontier of knowledge should know no barrier. Great ideas should be shared. Our bill of craft and culture is only progressing in a positive way through collaboration between all of us. So uh, if you are interested in uh, pursuing the effort we are trying to do right now, whether it's organizing the next one or being part of uh, the organization of future uh, events, uh, just let us know and we'll make sure the flame is burning for future generation uh, at the end of the event. Special effects. Uh, and now we believe our next guest needs no introduction, but there will be one. Uh, she's been Minister for Culture, uh, Minister for the Digital Economy, uh, where she created the French Tech Initiative. Right now, she, she also created uh, Corelia Capital, a 200 million euro fund uh, dedicated to grow uh, European tech giants. Please make a big welcome to Fleur Pellerin. Thank you. Hello, everybody. Uh, so I won't be very long because I think we have a lot uh, of very interesting panels uh, right uh, afterwards. But I just wanted to um, remember with you and maybe remind you uh, of uh, something. It's that when I was uh, appointed as Minister for Culture and Communication, uh, some people, uh, some journalists, some media, some uh, bloggers said, uh, she will be the minister for video game. And do you think it was nice? It was meant to be nice? 
No, it was not meant to be nice. It was meant to be um, a, a sort of a criticism of uh, the fact that I had you know, cared about the video game industry when I was a minister for digital and that I intended as a minister for culture to acknowledge the, um, the place, the, the part played by the video game in the heritage, in the cultural heritage, in the cultural uh, uh, presence of France in, in, in the world, because I think there is a French touch in the video game uh, industry. Uh, and uh, for some people in the cultural uh, area, it was something that was a bit despicable because comics, uh, fashion, video game is not really culture. But for me, it was really culture. And actually, I was very happy to see that when I was fired a couple of years afterwards from government, um, the video game industry, some um, uh, unions, uh, professional uh, uh, syndicates, really said that they were very happy with the work that we had done together. And um, uh, I want to remember two, maybe two things that were, um, I'm sorry, it's, uh, it's not the, maybe the right time to, to, to say that because it's, it was a long time ago, but I was very proud to have uh, carried out two uh, major projects in the area of uh, the gaming industry. It was to extend the tax credit for video game because it was really a fight and maybe some of you remember it. I wanted to extend this uh, tax credit first because there was a big crisis in France in 2011-12. A lot of uh, studios were tempted to put uh, to, to put their, their teams in uh, Canada or in Singapore. Uh, and I remember discussions I had with, uh, I heard Ankama is here, with people from Ankama at that time or people from other studios who had really uh, a big temptation uh, or who, who were approached by, uh, uh, by uh, Singapore, by uh, uh, Canadian uh, administrations to, uh, to put their teams, to, to localize their teams in, uh, in other countries. So there was a really an emergency situation if we wanted to keep the creativity in France. And so uh, my priority was really to, ex to make the tax credit really a, a big incentive for, for the studios. And I remember that I had a big fight at the National Assembly because I wanted to extend this tax credit to Peggy 18 plus games because some of them were very creative. They really, you know, uh, fit into the criteria for the tax credit. And I remember that a lot of people said to me, uh, you are the minister who is, who, who is going to expose uh, our uh, youth, our children to pornography, to extreme violence. Because for the people, Peggy 18 plus meant like the same thing that in the movie industry, so really sex movies or extremely violent movies. So I had a, l a big job to uh, convince these people that no, the gaming industry was not, you know, uh, um, was something that you needed to understand uh, because it meant a lot of creativity, it meant a lot of jobs, it meant some uh, very artistic sometimes projects, it meant also a very dynamic economic sector and for some people, it was a bit difficult to, uh, to hear and to, uh, to understand. And then the second thing I think that was uh, quite important and well received by the ecosystem was that I realized that there was a big problem for the studios to finance, uh, to have access to either capital or debt. And so uh, I remember that I worked a lot with the SNGV, so the, the, the professional um, uh, union for the, one of them, actually one of the uh, professional unions for the video game industry. We worked a lot on, uh, to, to create uh, um, an investment fund uh, that made loans to uh, studio uh, and uh, gaming companies. And I think that was something that was expected, that had, had been expected for a very long time, but uh, did not happen until then. And I think it was, uh, I'm very proud actually of these two, uh, of these two uh, uh, projects. Uh, but m m most of, uh, I think most important was really the fact that the video game industry was recognized as uh, an important economic sector and as a, uh, a creative, uh, really creative uh, sector with a lot of uh, artistic design, a lot of jobs, a lot of uh, uh, creativity. And for me, it was, uh, it was, very, um, it was very important to uh, acknowledge that. So today I'm very happy. Uh, I'm a very first happy investor because uh, they didn't mention it, but actually I'm an investor in, uh, in OBB. So, uh, uh, I'm, I'm here also because uh, I really believe as an investor, not only as a politician in, a, in the gaming industry. But I'm very happy to see you here because I think uh, uh, this uh, meeting today has uh, different goals. One of them being uh, to work on the inclusivity, diversity, 
of your ecosystem. And I think it's good that, you know, in those times, and we've had a, uh, recently bad buzz about this sort of uh, boy club culture um, in, uh, in, in France. And I think it's good for uh, an ecosystem that might have been a bit, um, you know, characterized by this beer and boys club culture to think about what, you know, diversity, uh, gender balance, uh, what women can bring to the, to the industry. And I'm very happy to, to see that there are some women founders uh, that are very successful here. Uh, so, uh, thank you for this uh, this initiative, uh, and I'm I, I don't want to be much longer. I just wish good luck to this initiative. I will be uh, here anytime and supportive anytime you 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 want if I can to bring some uh, bring some um, insight or some help. Uh, and uh, I wish long life to uh, to the Pro Evolution Society. Thank you. <laughs>